Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will be your weekly reading starting from J July 4th. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links down below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, Aquarius, interesting reading, but a very straightforward one, so I'm liking that. All right, so let's talk about the cards that we have. We have here on the table, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands. We have the Lover's card. We have the Devil card. Okay, so... Aquarius, it looks like either this is you or this is somebody else you're dealing with. Um, there's a breakup in a relationship. Um, someone tried to leave or they left the connection. They tried to leave undetected. You know, just they tried to finish up and just go on and just move on. Um, they didn't want to make a big fuss out of it. This is more so... A, leaving because of self-respect somebody was like i just can't stay in this because if i stay in this this was this is on me i'll be disrespecting myself this person already disrespects me has no regard for the relationship and or me so this was the aquarius leaving or the other person leaving someone said you know it just it's just best to let this be to go on and this is a journey on of self-discovery this is um, a spiritual journey, not knowing where you will end up. This is also journeying into the unknown, uh, but knowing that you have to walk away from what is no longer fulfilling you. Um, again, you know, um, finishing up and going to the next level, moving on, closing this, this book, not even the chapter, but this book and starting a whole nother book writing a whole nother book creating the life that you want someone is um they're not sure if this is really over they're in the nine of swords they're they fear that this is finally over that this was the final straw um they have a lot of anxiety this could be a night shift worker this is somebody who works at night who's had tr trouble sleeping either even before the breakup this is a person who may be insomniac um, this is now this person this is really messing with them their sleep patterns their energy also they have low energy this breakup this walking away is really messing with this person this is when you have to rest in that sea of emotion and thoughts when it kind of attacks you you try to get away from it but it 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 has attacked this person Maybe because this person, whomever this was, Aquarius, was it, whether it was you or the other person, they played mind games. They said things they know they didn't mean. They said things that they know it would get a reaction out of you, the reaction they were looking for, whether it was loving or whether it was, you know, a fight, rah, 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 or whether it was sexual. They just knew how to push buttons to get you to open up. And that were that was or that is the mind game that they play or they are still playing there's a level of, of aggression here self aggression here this person wants everything for themselves they're selfish also um this person is now maybe even kind of trying to tarnish your name and try to put all the blame on you this person is having a hard time coping with the fact that this is over and then they have to come to realize that it is over. That maybe they self-destructed, self-sabotage. Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. This person could be Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Also could be a male Cancer. Maybe Third Deacon, so that'll be around July 2nd to July 11th. Um, this person could want to reconcile with you they want to come back to you why I don't know I asked why and we got the eight of pentacles 
there's a this person is thinking of you over and over and over again. They can't get over you. They can't get over the relationship. They can't get over the fact that maybe you were so invested and now you just aren't. It's just a dead stop. Silence. It's over. They can't get over the fact that you're neglecting them. You're neglecting the love that you have for them. Again, this person could be self-employed, a manager, someone of that nature, someone who works a lot. Why does this person want you back? We already know why they're showing up in your energy because they're thinking of you over and over again. But why do they want you back? They want you back because of the four of pentacles. They're holding on to you. They have some deep-seated issues from the past. The past that doesn't even involve you. They have no boundaries. And they have this deep sense of control and possessiveness. They don't like change. And it looks like you changed things on them. Or... This is what someone did to you, Aquarius. They're trying to exert their power over you. They have this desire to control you. And kind of like impose their will on you. There's a level of jealous, jealous, <laughs> jealousy and possessiveness. And that really comes from their insecurity. Their insecurity... Um, stems from the fear nine of swords that it's over that it's really over they also don't like the fact that you moved on from this toxic or stuck situation they want things back the way they were they want the status quo whatever you guys the status quo was was it friends with benefits or i come and see you once in a while we hang out or you're my girlfriend, boyfriend, but I don't treat you well. I don't know what the status quo was. They want it back, though. They could be holding on to a grudge about you also. Once again, talking bad about you. At this point, they're clingy. And they want to suffocate you. They might even want to love bomb you. Get you to come back. This was once a relationship where you thought this was your person. You thought this was your partner. Like, this is it. This is the final stop. This is the perfect relationship, says the lovers. You felt like it was, you know what, I won't even say it was. At one point, it, it you know, it, it, it really was the, the heavens, the angel blessing you two with the divine meeting the divine meeting of each other like wherever you met whether it was online or it was in person or whatever that was the divinity that happened it brought you two together now just because they bring you two together doesn't mean that you're going to stay together forever you're going to run off into the sunset no because free will takes hold for the both of you you and your person so if you treat your person right, if they treat you right, then you get the lover's card. You get a blessed union. You get the two of cups. You get mutual beneficial relationship. But if you don't treat the person right, or you don't do what you need to do, you don't learn the lessons that you need to learn, you don't ascend, you don't strive for higher, you get the devil. This is, these are the same cards, but it's just um, the two different frequencies. You know, from love and fear. Those are the only two real emotions. Um, so it looks like the relationship, of course, this was, you were supposed to meet this person, okay? And you guys were supposed to learn something from each other, grow, hopefully run off into the sunset. But it looks like it turned toxic. It turned stuck. It turned addictive. There's an unhealthy attachment. Maybe from you to this person from them to you i don't know but there's an attachment here there's an attachment because this person sees your good nature they see your your that you're good they might not be a good person i'm just sorry to say it this person can't cope with the fact that it is over that um they are being neglected 
they can't cope with the breakup, the separation. They are really struggling with um, you ignoring them, them feeling in love, rejected. A lot of this is stuff is, is stemming from past, their childhood, their past that didn't even involve you. And you're just really reaffirming this to them because this is how they act. They act like a person that should be unloved, rejected, ignored, and left out in the cold, maybe even abandoned. This person could be dealing with some financial issues now that you left. I feel like you were their saving grace, their good luck charm. They want you back. All for the wrong reasons. They have nothing to offer. There are no offers here in any of these cards. They just want your good nature, your love, your devotion. They need it. They feed off of it. They are attached to it. pretty much it Aquarius um for some of you you're like well I don't know let's see what the cards want to tell you as advice and we'll talk about the advice over at the extended I mean you see what type of person you're dealing with you're dealing with a Taurus Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, yeah, and Capricorn. All right, what's the advice for the Aquarius? Yeah, yeah, I already know this. Um, okay, what's the advice for the Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius. What's the advice for the Aquarius? What's the advice for the Aquarius? <laughs> this is funny. What's the advice for the Aquarius? It's funny because, and for some of you it's going to be funny because some of you are out of this energy. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Yeah. Yeah. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Yep. 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 Um, Aquarius, you might have somebody new coming in and they may be, this is a, this is somebody who's handsome. Um, the advice is, is pretty much telling and it's funny. Um, if you want the advice for you dealing with a person like this. Then let's um, go over to the website and we'll talk about it. The link for the extended is below. Uh, do know the energy that you're dealing with, Aquarius. Wow, this is really good. Wow. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I just pulled from another deck. Wow, that's good. Um, yeah, Aquarius, let's go to the website and talk about the advice for you. Because I know some of you are like, well, I don't know what to do. I still like him. I still love him. Yeah, you, you feel in love with the devil. Sorry. Um, the, mo the best you can do now is try to, to learn how to cut the cord. Which we are going to do um, for the new moon. We're going to have a live session. It's going to be um, exclusive to those who of course pay for the session we're all going to manifest through our new moon rituals together um, this is going to be interesting this is going to be the first time that i'm doing this um but if you want to get in on the new moon um, ritual session of of how to bring in new love money maybe even we'll do some core cutting um let's go ahead and do it now of course you'll be doing it in your respective space and i'll be doing it in mine but you can follow through you'll have to get a few different items for yourself but it won't be anything um that you can't get your hands on in a local grocery store so anyhow um aquarius thank you many blessings to you i hope that the reading resonated for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below also, donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from the reading. Give back. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.